Hello and welcome back to the Buy Intent channel with me, Rocky Natha. It's great to have you here. So recently I've been talking about, or in the past two videos, I've been talking about some of the spiritual lessons when it comes to discovering your purpose. We spoke about ego, we spoke about manifesting and striving. And in today's video, I want to talk about the concept of taking up space without permission all right um, a very girl boss move yes we all know and I know all the girl bosses out there are doing this and I think it's amazing I think it's empowering and I think there's still so many places and ways particularly as women where we struggle to take up space we struggle to own the authority of our own voices our opinions and even the choices that we make, while we might have the power to make them, to stand up and to take ownership of that, that's still challenging. Certainly is for a lot of women I see out there, right? And it's because of how we were educated, the societies we were brought up in, how we were socialized. So one of the lessons that I believe you will learn, okay, and it's a spiritual lesson as well, is how to take up space without permission. Because the reality is, everybody's not going to believe in your dreams. The reality is, your dreams are probably going to be pretty hard to achieve. Most are, right? And if they're not, then that's a separate topic, but you need to be questioning why you're setting your bar for yourself so low. Because you deserve better, okay? Your dreams should be a little bit unrealistic. They should be ambitious. They should be hard to achieve. So. Not everybody's going to be in your court. Not everybody or everything or every circumstance is going to make it easy to even achieve those dreams. A lot of the strength is going to have to come from you. And with that, the sense of permission that somebody's going to come and either save you, give you an opportunity, create an opportunity for you, is also something of the past that we need to let go of. Okay? We, as a society, where we are today, where we are now, we really have to learn to create our own opportunities and with that, to take up space without permission, okay? Think back to the world in premature, <laughs> okay, historical times. Um, adventurers, travelers, creators, the people who created the very first things, inventors, scientists, you know, they didn't really go about asking for permission before they started doing the work they had to do. They just followed what they needed to do, right? Yet, I think it's our schooling system, right? It's education, it's having so much already done in the world that we don't venture and we don't adventure and we don't create from that space, right? We rather look to titles and roles rather than just following that instinct of what you want to make and create. And I think that's why poetry is so beautiful for this generation and for our time now, because poets are doing that. They're creating, okay? Um, maybe we don't necessarily need to create a lot of the inventions we have. I mean, we've come so far, right? And so, you know, the technology space kind of owns a lot of that now. But beautiful words, stories that resonate, that is still something that can be created, right? And I think that's why there's such a deep, appreciation for poetry in today's times and with this generation right and why we appreciate it and so coming back to this lesson again all right it is very important that you cultivate right on your path to learning about your purpose and pursuing it that you learn to take up space without permission maybe your friends don't like what you're doing maybe they even make fun of you all right because you're doing another youtube makeup channel fantastic if you are doing that from a place of true authenticity i mean you love doing it and it seems like the right thing to do right now there's really nothing there's no bad reason there's no there's no good reason <laughs> to not do it either right you know what i'm saying there's just no validity or anything around it that says yeah don't do that Okay, and please don't fall into the trap of everybody else is doing that. We're a big world and we're a very interconnected world. So everybody else is going to be doing that. Okay, but still your path will define itself through taking that action. So 
you should still take that action no matter how many other people are doing something okay do not fall into that there is also a means of how we we self-sabotage and how we hold ourselves back and how the ego comes to play okay so very important that you learn how to take up space without permission okay so even if people mock you they don't approve of you they don't like what you're doing you've got to respect that opinion but you've still got to say it's okay I don't need anybody's permission to follow my path to purpose and part of the journey and maybe for me to grow that muscle of empowerment within myself is that I am going to encounter that so that I can grow and learn how to move forward okay without that permission okay like travelers and adventurers and creators in the past did that that's also my birthright and something i should do okay so cultivate that be okay with the rejection and the fun and whatever anybody else has to say and just go out there and take up space with the thing that you want to do in the world thank you guys and i'll see you again soon bye for now